Hello, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. How are you guys? I just wanted to do a little video before I leave for a Christmas play. And I know there's been a couple people reaching out with some pretty cool um, new beginnings happening which is exciting. I am definitely feeling the new beginnings. Um, and just like, uh, okay, so I'm done inviting just a few people. People will join if they see me and they're online and otherwise they can view after. So you might be viewing after. So hello to all of those people for tuning in. Okay. So, is there anyone in the house? These filters. Oh, okay, there's someone in the house. I see, I see a little, oh, there it is. Okay, hi, Heather. Hi, JC. Okay, so now I can, I can see. It, so it's easy. What's up? How are you? Uh, I'm just uh, been at the house just trying to take care of business today. And it occurred to me that it is the new moon in Sagittarius today. And it is the last part. So like my theory, it's the end of Sagittarius. Literally, this is one degree out of a fucus. We made it! All that really heavy, dark energy is now behind us. So now we're in Terrius season, which is God's gift. And that is the sun and the moon. So the sun and the moon will be conjunct at 1030 p.m. tonight. So that's pretty cool. Hey, Marcos. Nice to see you. Um, and... So that being said, the sun and the moon will be directly aligned. So there will not be any light for you to see the moon. So it'll be super dark. So if you're a stargazer and you have one of those telescopes, use it tonight. It'll be nice. And there might still even be some leftover um, debris from the meteor shower that just happened um, a few days ago in Gemini. So look towards Orion in Gemini. That's where the big meteor shower. Did any of you guys see it? I literally went out uh, at Eckley Pier and I watched it until 2.30 in the morning. And I didn't see 100 an hour because of, you know, it's Crockett. But I saw like 20, maybe an hour, which was cool. That was a treat um, for especially being at home. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this new moon and how we are in the God's gift. Now, a fucus is in the Sagittarius section between eight degrees and 25 degrees, leaving give or take five degrees on each end being Sagitt and Tarius, okay? So Venus is at 21 degrees during this new moon and Mercury retrograde is at 15 degrees. Meaning that Mercury and Venus are still in the constellation of Fucus, okay? And that is the dark little um, cocoon, okay? So when this new moon happens tonight at 1030, this will be the God's gift. Now, this is a great day for like manifestation and prayers and really like envisioning what you really want for the new year of 2018. And because I say this, because Saturn, um, the planet of uh, the three-dimensional reality and structure, is moving back home into Capricorn literally on the 19th of this. So, yeah, it's entering back into its home on Tuesday the 19th. And the moon will be in um, Capricorn as well. So that's opening up this huge portal. I mean, this hasn't happened for a decade or two, um, because Saturn is only in one constellation for two and a half years. 
So wherever Capricorn is in your astrology chart, and if you need to look that up and you don't know what house it's in, go to astro.com and enter your birth information, including your birth time. Then you'll know what house it will be affecting. And so to know that, let's say um, Capricorn is in the sixth house of daily routines and health. You're going to want to start um, being very diligent and very um, structured like Capricorn in the area of health. Otherwise, if you don't, you're going to let health problems and issues come up because that's kind of the energy. This is the astrology aspect. Okay. So, so it's good to prepare for, um, this new energy because Saturn's been in Sagittarius where it hasn't been happy for the last two and a half years. Now, Venus will be moving into God's gift. I think at Friday. Um, the 22nd, there's a lot of energy happening like right before Christmas. So the sun is entering Capricorn at 827 AM on the winter solstice of this Thursday, the 21st. Okay. So we have that happening as well. Then on the 22nd, we have a small meteor shower in the Eurysid and also... Um, let me see. Oh, here's my chart. Um, let's see. Venus will be entering in on the 22nd as well. So that's huge. So Venus is one of our home planets, right? Because we're, we're in between Venus and Mars. So Mars is more of the, like the aggression, uh, that kind of stuff. And then Venus is more of the, the five dimensional, like sensations, like eating and tasting and seeing and like touch, like all these beautiful things. So it's a really, really important time to be thinking about what you want to manifest because literally when Saturn goes into Capricorn, it's going to start building whatever we're manifesting in our mind. So if it's, if it's fear and it's not believing and it's like focusing on everything you don't want, that's going to manifest faster. Okay. As well as if you think about the things that you want and what life that you want to be or who you want to be or what you want you know, it's going to also manifest. Okay. So this is kind of the new energy in the new world because Saturn builds things and Capricorn is the goat, you know, it wants to climb to the top of the mountain. So whatever that you want, you first have to envision first knowing what you want, then you start believing and maybe making a vision board. That's great for this kind of energy. Vision boards. Put on your screensaver a whole bunch of pictures that activate like happiness and hope in your life, right? Or what you want to see for the collective. And then start doing your footwork. Um, what are you going to do to be able to get where you want to be? That's a change of attitude. That's signing up for school if you want a degree. That's, it. you know, signing up for... For driver's ed or driver's training, if you need, you know, need to get your driver's license. Um, if you want a car, you like, how much do you need to save up? Um, so all these things are, you know, coming together. All right. I forgot about my little note. See, this is everything that's happening literally within this week. So we have the new moon in Sagittarius tonight at 1030. Then we have, um, we're out of a fucus as far as our, our sun and our, our moon. And then we have Mercury retrograde and Venus still both in a fucus, which will be Venus will be switching out. Then Saturn is leaving Sagittarius, moving home to Capricorn on December 21st. Mercury will be going direct on December 22nd. Yay. But it will still be in shadow until January. So keep that in mind. Um, so when it, when it goes direct, let's say the 21st and the 22nd this week is probably going to be really intense. So be careful driving, operating heavy machinery, um, communications with your spouse. Um, try to you, like think before you say anything because you could offend someone or start arguments or miscommunications, like hell of pronunciate what you're trying to get across because we've been in Mercury retrograde for about two, two and a half 
weeks now and now it's coming to an end and wrapping things up we've got to rethink like the things that we want in our life depending on what house it is you were probably experienced this reconsideration like oh well maybe I do want to be with that person or oh maybe I don't hate my job maybe I'm more appreciative oh maybe you know I need to be grateful for the things that I have because they almost got taken from me okay that kind of like rethinking reorganizing or redoing okay and then all the decisions are to be made in January. Okay, so we're in the winter period of of death, right? And then we're gonna have we're slowly each planet's coming to its rebirth, um, and that's also an aspect in, within ourselves. So Venus is um, moving into a fucus into Tarius, which is God's gift. Um, this will probably be very good for relationships or for, you know, the Venus type things. And that's Friday, December 22nd. Venus is connecting to who and what you value. So it's material and interpersonal enjoyments as well. So your desires, whatever you've been desiring and connecting to. And then the sun enters Capricorn on December 22nd. So I think I touched base on all of that. How are you guys doing out there? Um, have you guys been experiencing a little lighter energy um, now that we're kind of out of that really intense uh, fucus energy? <laughs> Who do I have in here still? Happy Merry Christmas, guys. All right. Well, I will go ahead and log out. I just wanted to touch base. I'm <laughs> Oh, you're feeling better. Okay, good. You were sick. Yeah, those are those are just natural things that happen when when there's um like evolution happening and when when you're drained and you're detoxing too. Like, have you ever noticed when you're starting to get uh, healthy? And this is also like thinking clearly. When you start getting healthy and you start doing vitamins and shots of apple cider vinegar, you start uh, like feeling sick and stuff. That sickness is detoxing. You're detoxing from all the toxins that your body has been used to. And then once you go get over that sickness, then you'll feel better and you won't get sick every time that you're taking your apple cider vinegar or your vitamins like that. But that's also, yes, it's also in, in, in like this spiritual world as well. Hey, David Cruz, what's up, bud? I got to come visit you at your winery soon. I'm going to make that happen. Um, but like, it's also in the spiritual world um, and your thought process when you, you're starting to let go of these older beliefs or these beliefs that are no longer serving your higher purpose, you'll become more tired and you need that rest. Like you just have to let yourself rest when you're freaking tired because that means that the universe and God has something that, that is gonna, that you're gonna need all that like rest. It, it could be a, like a new, a new opportunity. It could be like a new relationship or something like that where you're, you're going to be having to exert some energy. So take the sleep when sleep is needed and it's okay to do that. We have to allow ourselves to rest because we allow ourselves to be worked until we're sick. Um, but I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better, Heather. And how are you, David? Are you going to give me a heart or something? No? Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to go shopping, and then I'm going to go to this Christmas play with my family. I love you. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope that helped a little bit. But just remember, the new world is all about creating your world with your power of thought in your mind. So make sure that all those are good. Hey, Travis, it's American Canyon in the house or Napa. <laughs> all right, guys, love you. Peace out. If you didn't get to hear all of it, please replay so you could hear all the good news that is happening right now. Hey, Vanessa, replay, replay. I'm all done. Love you. See you.